When we look up at the night sky, we see these stars that are shining. And so what I'd like to do is talk to you about what that shining actually means. So we're going to first start off by talking about luminosity, um, and then we're going to talk about apparent brightness and this concept of standard candles. But to begin with, with luminosity, we want to try to look at, uh, how can we say this? We could say it's uh, how bright a star actually is. So this is sort of what we're trying to look at here. So how bright a star actually is. So when we, when we talk about how bright a star actually is, that's because stars emit light. Okay, so because stars emit light, that means that uh, we could actually measure it. Okay, so if we measure uh, what it actually emits, just trying to write a little bit clearly here. So what it actually emits, in other words, what it puts out, um, then we could do that as a form of power. So maybe we should sort of define that. So the stars, they emit light. They give off light. And we could measure that light because we could actually do that here on Earth. And we could measure what the star actually emits, but that's as a form of power. Now, there is a problem with measuring luminosity directly because you'd have to actually go up to the star and measure it. And so we're going to talk about that effect and the effect of distance. But for right now, the, what luminosity is actually defined as, so we actually have a definition for it. So we have luminosity is some sort of power. And now when we say a power, what we mean is some sort of energy emitted per unit time. So that means that this has units of, I mean, energy is measured normally in, uh, maybe I'll make this a uh, taller square bracket here. Um, energy is measured in joules, whereas time is measured in seconds. So we could say that power is, or luminosity, or power, is measured in joules per second. But we actually have our own unit for it. They're called watts. Okay, so that's the unit that we can use. So this is in joules per second or watts. So this right here is something really important, I think. So luminosity is some sort of power, and it's the energy per time of uh, what's being emitted. So that's the amount of energy in a given time. So that's in joules per second. Or sometimes we look at it and we say it's in watts. Of course, uh, I used to always be really lame and ask my student, what's the unit of power? Ha ha ha, because it's a watt. Um, but yeah, lame joke aside, this is a really important concept. So this luminosity is some sort of, it's some sort of intrinsic property of stars. Okay, so it's some sort of, yeah, it's something that stars do. And different stars have different luminosities because some of them give off more energy per unit time, some of them give off less energy per unit time. But there is a problem that we can't really measure luminosity directly here on Earth. So what we actually measure is something called apparent brightness. Okay, so this is what I'm going to put down now. So um, maybe we'll say this, but so we observe. So this is, the, this is the issue, is that when we're actually on Earth, we actually observe stars at a different distance away. So we observe stars at, how can we say this, varying distances away. I mean, this is the reality of it, right? Stars have different distances away. And so then we have this concept of what I'd like to call sort of a standard candle. So if you can imagine that I have some sort of, uh, yeah, so let's say consider. I consider I have two different candles. So I have a candle here, and it's like this, and maybe I'll make the top right here sort of reddish or something like that, just to sort of show, oh look, it's a candle, so it's glowing. It's probably got uh, some other colors as well, by the way. Uh, we could talk about those later on. It's gonna be bluish at the top and reddish at the bottom, sort of yellows and greens in the middle. But let's just assume I have this candle here. Now. Uh, let me just uh, try to perhaps uh, copy this and let me attempt to then paste it and see if it works. It did not. 
So I'll just have to draw another candle then. Um, so if I try to draw myself another candle, so let's just say we have two different candles here. Okay, so if I have this candle and then I have this candle right here. Okay, so two different candles. But let's assume that they have the same brightness. In other words, uh, well, we better be careful with these words here, but consider that we have two candles that have or that emit the same uh, let's say energy per unit time. In other words, the same power. Maybe I'll just say that, the same power. Or luminosity. Okay, so imagine I have these two exactly the same candles here. Okay, so this is candle one and candle two, and I have them exactly the same. There's no difference between them. So they put out the exact amount of power, in other words, the exact amount of energy per unit time. So we're going to say they have the same luminosity, this intrinsic property of, well, not only stars, but things that give off light. So if we considered those two things, um, imagine that I have one that's farther than the other. So an observer, maybe I'll say this so, an observer would see uh, a candle that is farther away appear now this is really important here so if I took one of these candles so imagine I have these two same candles here and I take them and I put one of them farther away so let's imagine then that um, here is my situation here so maybe I'll draw I'll draw myself here so here's myself I'm gonna try to draw here you'll see why it is that I'm not um, I'm not an artist, so maybe this is the person's hair here. Boy, I'm a really bad artist. But let's just say this is this is the person here who is watching these candles. So I have one of the candles that is nearer. Now remember, these are two candles with the exact same luminosity. In other words, they're actually the same power. They put out the same energy per unit time. So if I have one candle here and I have one candle over here. Let's just say I did this to the extreme. Maybe I put this candle here like one kilometer away. Okay, so let's assume these were the same two luminosity candles. When I see these ones right here, see if I'm actually sort of looking at them. Those are my dotted lines. That's to represent sort of what I'm looking at here. This one right here, so an observer would see a candle that, well, I really can't spell today, can I? That is farther away appear and let's think now, if I have this candle here compared to this one right here, how would this one look compared to that one? And this should be uh, fainter. And then also conversely, a candle closer appears brighter. So you see that we have this effect. We have this effect of distance. All right, so this one right here is going to appear brighter. And this one over here is going to appear dimmer. And that, most people at least, have no real problem with this. This is a somewhat obvious statement, I think. Um, but this has very real consequences for us when we look at stars. Because we're going to consider stars as something we call standard candles. So when we're going to mention this word standard candle with stars, we're going to assume it's like if we could know that two stars had the exact same luminosity, then if we saw one appear dimmer, then we would know it's farther away. So that's the idea behind apparent brightness. Okay, so we're going to talk about this then. So apparent brightness then. Let's see here. So apparent brightness is an effect of distance. We measure it on Earth. So this is actually easily measured. See, luminosity is difficult to measure because um, of a star at least, you'd have to go up to the star to know what it really puts out, sort of what its energy per unit time is. If we really, you'd have to sit right beside the star to do this. But apparent brightness is really easy. That, all you have to do is just measure it. So you just sit there and you measure it on Earth. And I'll say easily. 
So what we do then is this. The um, apparent brightness is going to be given by uh, this. So let's say, um, how could I say it here? It's measured as a power per unit area. In other words, um, it could be measured in watts per meter squared or something like that. In fact, that's uh, what we're going to use here. So we're going to say apparent brightness then. Maybe I'll uh, write it like this. I'll say the symbol is written as um, B. And what we do is we actually uh, have the meaning. So the meaning of this is that uh, this is the brightness measured on Earth. And the units are in watts per meter squared. So in other words, we could say watts times meters to the minus 2. So those are the units of this. Now what we do then is we have an equation that relates these. And if we go back to uh, luminosity here, luminosity has a unit of L. So we call the luminosity L. So we're going to have two different things then. We're going to have apparent brightness and luminosity. So then we can add this idea here, this concept, or this equation then that relates them. So apparent brightness then is going to be the effect of luminosity. Okay, so we're going to have apparent brightness is equal to the luminosity. It's going to be divided by 4 times pi times d squared. This is going to be an important equation. Okay, so b is the apparent brightness. If we're going to write an equation, it helps to put all the letters in. So just to be complete here, apparent brightness, and that's measured in watts per meters squared. We have L, which is the luminosity, and that's measured in watts, or I suppose we could say in joules per second, so joules times second to the minus one. And we have D, which is going to be the distance away. That's going to be measured in meters.